Welcome to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. That's the home of the New England Revolution. The conference title is on the line here tonight. I never wanted to be known as the guy that couldn't produce in big games. Taylor Twalman is desperate to get the Revolution back into the MLS Cup. They lost on penalty kicks in last year's final. And it's over. Houston has won it. Every single year, he's at the top of that scoring list or near the top. Yeah, it's great the regular season. He scores 100 goals, blah, 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 blah. But in the playoffs, what do you do? What do you, what do, you do? That was one thing that I thought about more than anything. And at times, I got my own way. Taylor Twelman. Taylor Twelman. Taylor Twelman. The kid is hot. Taylor Twelman is an American-made success story. Everyone asks me, when did I know I was going to be a pro athlete? I answer it this way. I didn't think I wasn't going to be. In my bedroom growing up, next to my bed was a picture of Joe DiMaggio, my grandfather, and two other Yankees winning the World Series. On the other side of the bed was my father slide tackling Pelé. It just was there, it was in my blood. Even Nickel called me and said, will you come and be my assistant at the New England Revolution? And he, he threw a beer, he said, you've seen the squad now, I want to know what you think. And this is as true as I'm sat here, I said, I said, you know that 12 man? I said, get rid of him. I said, he's useless. He says, no, 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 no. He said, he's a franchise player. I said, what the hell does that mean? 12 and goes up, 12 and scores! What a rest! I always thought Taylor carried a chip on his shoulder. Size of Rhode Island. For 12 and scores! A guy that really, I think, struck fear in other teams in MLS. Taylor was one of those guys that you couldn't help but hate. I mean, he's got like that sort of all-American, pretty boy look, but you had to respect his game. Here's Taylor Thomas, his shot, into the goal! He what a great it. finish, great finish. So 2007 was an interesting year for us. You gotta remember, the core group of that team had lost 02, 05, 06 MLS Cups. Houston has won the 2006 MLS Cup. But we had a team that believed in what it was doing. There was a quiet confidence that this was our year. Then it comes to the Eastern Conference in MLS Cup. New England in its sixth consecutive Eastern Conference final. Chicago having been eliminated twice in a row by New England, they couldn't wait to get after it. They signed an incredible forward in Blanco. He couldn't really run that quick, but he could destroy in an instant. It was a rivalry between the two teams. I still get a little triggered when I see New England play. <laughs> Fair to say that both teams respect but do not like one another. Their history is filled with friction. What I vividly remembered was there was undoubtedly one star on the pitch. And the talk we had heard all week was Chicago was not going to let Taylor Twellman beat them. There's something about the playoffs the weather, the smell of it, everything changes. Playoffs was something that really drove me further than I thought it would have if you would ask me freshman, sophomore year of high school. State high school final. St. Louis University High School versus DeSmet. It was our rival. I was a sophomore starting up front. The rest of the lineup was seniors. We had a penalty kick. None of the seniors wanted to take it. I took it, missed it, we lost 1-0. And I had my house egged, I had my car egged, I had vulgar stuff written, posted on my house. That was a turning point of, I'm gonna grow up, and I'm also gonna show up in big games. Chicago, the fire in the red, New England in the blue, and we are underway. The conference title is on the line here tonight. It was a Thursday night game under the lights on ESPN. We're at home. It was freezing. 
It was kind of a nasty day and a nasty evening. Footing was tough. He'll launch it in deep in that far post. And Taylor Tolman on target, but batted away. We were so evenly matched. It, it, it could turn anywhere. And as it progressed, it was just an innocuous throwing. New England and Chicago, no score. When the ball goes wide, 25 yards and in, you, it was no secret. I'm going to go inside the 18, and, and I'm going to earn my paycheck. Hey, hey, still with him here. Trying to excite their home faithful here in Foxborough. The ball was coming in, and because it was so windy, I couldn't time my header right. So the ball hit me in the head and popped straight up. And my gut reaction was, what's he going to do? What could he possibly do? It's just, it's just a millisecond. That set up perfect. This one will try to bring it down. The bicycle kick it out with his in! A spectacular goal! My goodness! I mean, even now, I, I sort of get, you know, little tingles about the what went through his mind. Tolman goes airborne. On the bicycle, he sticks it in. Sometimes just throw your hands up and be like, Taylor made a play. Sensational goal for the Revolution. There was a moment right after he scored where we were all in a little bit of shock. Did we just see that? But he knew it was in. He knew what he had done. I just scream and I'm like, F yeah! You could see the joy in his face. He came over to the dugout, you know, give us a big hug. So we knew we were there then, so it was, it was a fantastic moment. You give up a goal like that to the guy you've been marking all night that you wanted to prevent from scoring, it knocks the wind right out of your sails. And it did, Chicago. It's one of those games where they, they just can't get the kind of chances they really need. Time beginning to become an issue here for Chicago. Almost had the equalizer there. And that's it. This one is over. And the New England Revolution have put the fire out. They're on to the MS. Taylor Tolman with a spectacular goal in the 38th minute. It took a goal like Taylor's overhead to basically separate the teams. It's not a play you practice. I mean, where does that come from? I mean, you don't practice that sort of stuff in training. I mean, it was just instinct. I didn't think. It was nothing like I went into that game saying, I'm going to score a bicycle kick. But you dream about those moments. And anyone that tells you they don't, they're full of it.